Well, howdy folks, how y'all is? I've been craving some Louisiana style blackened fish and I was in luck because my daughter got me this fantastic product here in a gift box set for Christmas. Now it's been over a year since I've been down to NOLA and I was just craving some New Orleans style food. It's been too long. So I thought, yeah, I'll just make it at home. We're frozen in. I got some frozen fish up here in the damn freezer. And uh, what I'm using here is some mahi mahi. I had uh, four pieces left over from a vent I did. And I uh, brought them home, stuck them in the freezer. And tonight's the night they come to life. Back to life. Anyway, I'm not doing a true blackened uh, fish because I don't have a cast iron skillet anymore. My cast iron skillet I had cracked in half. Uh, turn it on and it just split down the middle. So we're gonna use a regular Skillet here frying pan and I'm putting a little more grease than I would if I was doing true blacking For a true blackened fish black and catfish black and red fish, whatever you're doing you Use a cast iron skillet. You put just a little bit of grease in there And it gives that nice char on it uh, However, I don't want that char tonight So I'm doing it in a regular skillet because I don't have a cast iron skillet Got some in storage, but I don't have any here at my house, so uh, it is what it is. I do have this industrial size pan, and that's what we're going to use tonight. And what I like about this Louisiana blackening is uh, it doesn't have too much salt in it, so it's not going to be over powerful, uh, you know, sodium. Some some of these. Uh, you know, some of the like Creole seasons, all you get are just chock full of salt. If you were to put that much on there, it'd be like, you know, licking a salt block and you'd be like a damn cow or something. Alrighty, folks, I just give them a flip and I'm about to take them off here and stick them off on a pan here and throw them off in the oven to finish them. Cause I don't want it, I don't want to burn the, the skillet up here. I'm gonna make a pan sauce. I don't want them charred chunks in there. So just a light, uh, not a true black thing, like I said, just a light uh, sear on each side and, and we in the oven. There we go, folks. Beautiful. Got that nice black and seasoning didn't char the shit out of it next up we're gonna make the sauce what I did is dumped out that excess grease in there just a little bit of grease left I'm gonna throw some Trinity off in there now when I went to the store because of this big cold front coming in and all they didn't have no green bell peppers I got a red bell pepper and some celery and some onion here so let's throw this trinity off in here. We got some bell peppers, some onions, some celery. That's the trinity for you. Most time it's green bell pepper, most time it's white or yellow onion, but uh, it is what we got and that's what we're using. And it'll look pretty on the plate anyway. So now we got all these vegetables sweated down, got the aroma going, it smells good as a motherfucker in here, I guarantee. So we're gonna mount it with a little bit of butter here, and I got this uh, pelugra, it's a really heavy uh, fat, you know, high fat, it's the chef's butter right there, and I think I even say so in the package there, but it's absolutely some fantastic butter, you know, and that's what we need for this dish, we're gonna richen this thing up a little bit. So all you folks on a diet here in January, the chef be eating good as a motherfucker. Now, the difference here is, you know, while the chef is dead in the ground, six feet under, uh, you folks will still be alive because you, you took care of yourself and did your diets and shit. And the chef ate lots of really high fat butter. Now I do wish you folks could smell this shit because it smells good AF. 
Now it's time to throw some tomatoes off in here. Now some people can throw some, you make it a pan sauce like this, some people throw some tomato paste, uh, kind of difference between Creole and Cajun. Some people use, you know, tomato. Some people don't use tomato. It's your preference, folks. It's your preference. I had all these tomatoes and I was like, what the hell am I gonna do with these tomatoes? I'll make a pan sauce with them. It'll taste good AF. And that's what we're doing, folks. So we threw these tomatoes off in here, rid of them down just a little bit. I'm gonna throw a little bit more of this black and season in there because it tastes really good. And I'll give the sauce some body and all. Like I said, it don't have much salt in it. So uh, you can get a little liberal with it and it ain't gonna like be over salty like some of the other products. Like Tony's, no, I love Tony's. Don't get me wrong, but the shit is pretty much pure salt and, and cayenne. I mean, it'll burn your face off and it'll give you high blood pressure, but it's delicious. Absolutely delicious, delicious shit. So, uh, before we uh, add some cream here, I got some of these uh, chives here. You can use scallions or chives, whatever you want. That's what I had on hand. That's what we're using. I had all these tomatoes left over from a party I just did, and I brought, brought them home, and uh, I had the scallions I had left over, so, you know, why not use them? Well, it's looking pretty righteous and smelling damn righteous. So uh, I'm gonna step over here to my cooler and grab the cream quick. And we're gonna throw some cream in here, let it reduce down a little bit. And that's gonna be about the end of our uh, pan sauce to go over our fish. And it's absolutely gonna be delicious, folks. I guarantee. I don't know what you're thinking, folks. That's a lot of butter you put in there, Chef. Well, look at this. There's some heavy whipping cream on top of that butter. I want to make sure that, that that fish only has like 100 calories. I want to make sure that I can get this up to four or 500 calories. And this should do the trick right here. Well, it's time to add a little spice to this here. So let's throw a little Louisiana hot sauce. And what I like about using a Louisiana style hot sauce or Louisiana brand hot sauce is uh it's got a little vinegar in there so it adds a little acidity to the sauce because straight up cream is just straight up cream it's too creamy you need some acidity i just give it a taste here and i realize i need a little more kick of spice and a little, a little more salt so i am going to add some tony's in here to add a little salt to it and a little more spice a little more kick and i'm not adding a lot just a few sprinkles here and there and a little over there and a little over here and a little over there and a little over here and a little over there there we go that should be perfect now, I'm also a big fan of Old Bay, so I'm gonna add a few sprinkles of Old Bay in here too. And that's gonna make this sauce just absolutely pop right here. This is it. Boom. Now, you can make this shit at your house, and your friends will be like, damn, this is some gourmet ass shit. And, it's, you know, it's just these few little simple things here, and let that cream reduce and all. And I'm telling you, this is off the fucking chain, folks. Off the chain. Impress your family, impress your friends. You can do this at home, just like I'm showing you right now. Let's give it a taste. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That shit's good as a motherfucker right there. Good M-F-A-F. Now, true New Orleans style, we're going to need some French bread or something here with some butter on it to mop up all the extra sauce. You know, that's a big thing when you get to Louisiana. You got to have some French bread to mop up your sauce. And that's what we got here. We got some little small French loaves here. Cut them in half, throw some more of that Pelugra butter on there. Mm. Always got to have the best, the best. Now, I don't have any fresh garlic and all the stores are wiped out. I actually looked for garlic and nobody had any. So I got some garlic powder I threw on there. Put a little more Tony's on there just for shits and giggles, get a little saltiness. And uh, not putting a ton, you know, just enough to get a little flavor. And we'll pop them off in the oven. So I'm gonna put that, uh, you know, fish down there in the bottom rack of the oven. I'll put that bread up there in the top rack of the oven. That'll get a little brownness on it, a little bit, you know, bake that uh, butter off in there. We cleaned our skillet up, and now it's time to saute some fresh veggies. Cause you gotta have some good veggies to counteract all that fat. Or maybe we should throw a lot of fat in the veggies to make sure we're following the theme here. Yeah, let's do that. All right, we're gonna start with a little canola oil. I 
Wait, hold up. I forgot to throw the chives on the damn bread. Let me pull that back out here. Here we go. Let's throw some chives on there. Throw this shit back off in the oven. I knew I was forgetting something. We my damn stovetop's getting seasons of shit all over it. You know it's gonna be good when you got seasons all over your damn stovetop. Anyway, I got these uh, zucchini, these squash, these uh, red bells and purple onions. And we're gonna saute these up here. It's gonna be delicious and delectable. But uh, I, I love squash. I absolutely love squash. I love sauteed squash. I love fried squash. I like squash baked. I like squash casserole. I like squash any way you can make squash. So. So I'll take these up quick and we'll season these up and I'll be a little side dish. I've also got a uh, pot of uh, white rice going off camera here, but uh, that's going to be the base for our dish here. All right, folks, I'm throwing some black pepper on here because we need a little black pepper. And I've got some, uh, I've got some seasoned salt up here. So let's throw a little seasoned salt on this. And uh, I don't have any Lowry. I ran out of Lowry's, and uh, the store only had uh, Morton, which I like Morton brand uh, salt and everything. So, um, yeah, let's throw some Morton on here. That'll give you a little season all. And uh, give that a shake. And we'll throw a little garlic powder on here since uh, we don't have no fresh garlic. Get a few more tosses here and that's just looking righteous. Mm. I really do wish uh, we had some smell of vision I don't know why they haven't found a way to do that yet. All right, folks, you knew I couldn't resist. I had to throw another block of butter off in this shit because we're staying true to form tonight. Everything is New Orleans style. High fat, high flavor. And we'll finish it off with a little fresh chives. Cut the heat and voila. Now, folks, if you never put fresh chives in your uh, vegetables, it's just perfect in a lot of stuff. But vegetables, uh, peas, all that stuff, the chives really set it off. There's a sauce, a pan sauce. Our fresh veggies, and it's time to pull that fish up out of the oven. And there's our white rice. Now, if you catch things down in Southern Louisiana and Acadiana, if you catch them during the right time of year, or in down Southeast Texas, you can find the popcorn rice that's fresh rice. And it's very rare to find fresh rice, but you can find fresh rice during harvest time. And man, this is just plain white rice, but I wish I had some of that popcorn rice. It actually tastes like popcorn, fresh rice. Absolutely delicious stuff. So if you're down in New Orleans and you see popcorn rice on the menu, check it out, get you some, because it's damn delicious, folks. Now, I don't know about Baby Ray's, but this sauce right here is the actual boss. This is fucking hefe right here. I mean, damn. Motherfucker. Mm, I can't wait to dig into this. You can look at this right now and you can already see that this is a fucking real deal. And it's going to be absolutely delicious. All right, let's throw them veggies around the outside here. It's like two vegetables going around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. But instead of two vegetables, it's four vegetables. Mmm. I can't wait to dig in. And let us not forget that fantastic baguette. Mmm. 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 Damn. I mean, damn. You know I'm eating good tonight. So anyway, you guys see how to make this. Make you some at home. Get you some of this. And you will be very happy. See you folks next time. 
Peace out, everybody.